Hello ladies and gentle beans. I'm going to do some more tech news and stuff. I'm going to start making these more regular than what they have been. Uh, obviously if there is technology news and stuff to talk about. So the game in the background is Resident Evil Revelations. Me and XGrad did a stream of this uh, doing the raid mode a, couple, a few days ago now. I think it was, on, was it on Friday. Yeah it must have been on Friday or Saturday. Something like that. Um, I'm going to try and get uh, a bit further in so we can unlock some more raid levels. Unfortunately, uh, how it works is that you have to do the single player in order to unlock levels for the multiplayer, which is a bit of a bullshit move, but, you know, so I'm going to try and get through the single player and obviously unlock some more levels for raid mode so me and X-Grad can uh, do more streaming of it. A um, few things I want to talk to about today. Um, one of them is about mobile roaming. Uh, the other one is regarding uh, drones that shoot paintballs. And the other one is uh, about Google and what they're doing uh, at the moment. So, first of all, uh, the EU is to end mobile roaming charges next year. Uh, this means, obviously, the people like myself uh, and people outside of uh, uh, Europe, basically. I mean, I know I live in the UK, but it's not technically classed as Europe, even though we are in the European Union. If we go abroad and we use our mobile, we get we get um, charged roaming fees and that. So, and the same, obviously, for other people in other countries. Sort of like if you came from America and you went to Europe, then you'd get charged roaming fees if you use your mobile over there. Um, now they're going to get rid of the roaming fees for voice calls, texts and internet access. So it basically mean that you pay exactly the same if you're in Europe as what you would do at home uh, using your mobile phone. So there's a group of 27 uh, European commissioners that voted in Brussels on Tuesday to make sure that this package got through on time for the uh, European elections in May next year. So it could come into force as early as the 1st of July next year. So um, almost a year's time, uh, in, a, in, about, in a few days it will be a year's time that the roaming charges will be uh, essentially got rid of uh, in, in Europe. Um, now, voice calls and texts not really that much of an issue. They're not really too much more expensive to use your mobile over there, at, well, f from what I know anyway. I mean, I've been abroad a few times and used my mobile to ring people and send text messages. And my uh, my in, my phone bill has not been exceedingly high. But uh, I know internet access, like your data, your 3G and all that, that can be extremely expensive if you use that abroad. With my provider at the moment, I think I get about 25 meg a day if I'm abroad and any... Anything I use after that is charged at a pound per megabyte. So, and obviously, a megabyte is not all that much. You can a lot of web pages are larger than a megabyte. So, um, things like YouTube, watching YouTube in in another country for me is on on data is a big no no. Uh, the places that, when I went abroad last year, uh, they had free Wi-Fi, so it wasn't too much of an issue. So, but places where you can actually go out and go into bars and stuff and use your data on your phone and not be charged any extra is a is a big plus now i'm not sure whether mobile companies will actually include what you use abroad in your actual uh monthly allowances and stuff like that i mean i get uh 400 minutes unlimited text and a gigabyte of data i think for about it's about 40 pounds a month that i pay for my for my mobile uh, i'm due to upgrade in just under a month's time so I'm going to be getting the Xperia Z because, uh, well, you know, because I can put it in water. And I'm probably not going to test that out as soon as I get it. I'm probably not going to fill the sink up and just throw my phone in it. It's probably a bad idea.
but you know it's it's always nice to have it there i mean my my phone at the moment i have the xperia arc at the moment and if it's raining and i take it out to use it the touch screen just gets completely messed up you, you'll be touching it in certain places it'll touch some other places and apparently the uh, xperia z is supposed to supposed to be able to handle raindrops and stuff like that on it and it won't mess the the touch screen up at all and it'll I'm not sure the depth that it, you can you can get it to, but it will survive for 30 minutes submerged underwater. So, you know, if you drop it accidentally somewhere, then, you know, your phone's not going to be completely messed up. But it's a good thing. But for, for me and people that go to Europe anyway, it's a good thing. Because, as I said, we can, uh, we can use our mobiles over there without worrying about being charged ridiculous prices for certain things. So... Okay, so the second thing I want to talk about, there's been a massive uh, surge in interest in this next thing that I'm going to talk about. They put a video up on YouTube and it's had quite a substantial amount of hits. Basically, they call it Game of Drones. Now, Game of Thrones fans, it's got nothing to do with Game of Thrones at all. Basically, what they do is they use uh, robotic drones, um, just like the ones that you can buy normally from from places like they're expensive don't get me wrong but you can buy them from from wherever uh they attach paintball guns and cameras to them and uh fly them around and shoot things with the paintball guns they fight against other drones and they can have them as uh like during a paint uh, an actual paintball match involve involving people they can use them as aerial support and things like that i mean this is fantastic i will put a link to the video in the description because I absolutely, I absolutely love it. It's a brilliant idea. It's going to be like eventually going to be like uh, real, real life Call of Duty Black Ops with like hunter killer drones. And shit like that. Um, but I mean, it's the things that people think of is just absolutely ridiculous. I mean, I've I've been paintballing a couple of times myself, and uh, I found that uh, my goggles got steamed up quite a lot, and it's really, really hot in them in the suits that they get you to wear as well. But the it's actually been watched 20,000 times since it's been posted to YouTube last week. So it's, it's got pretty, it's got pretty decent amount of views, but uh, we, we need to get it a bit higher because it's absolutely fantastic. And this needs to become a thing. This really needs to become something that we can get around everywhere so we can go out and actually use these bloody drones in, in paintball and arenas and things like that. Um, but there's not much to say about that. I just found it ridiculously cool that somebody has, has thought about doing something like this so we'll move on to what i want to talk to you about next uh now google has is in the technology news again um the, google have uh, started a project uh known as loon uh <laughs> it's, it's, it's like a kid calling a, a balloon loon want a loon uh <laughs> it involves balloons so it's not too far away uh, basically, it's been uh, created for people that don't have um, good internet connection or places where there is no internet connection. Um, they have uh, put like 3G internet access onto uh, balloons, uh, and basically they go up into the air, and you can get this uh, s uh, small antenna, which either you affix to the side of your house, your car, anything like that. And you'll be able to connect to uh, a 3G uh, internet connection uh, via these balloons uh, with this antenna. Um, now this is a uh, this is pr pretty good. I mean, they've said that it's uh, it's not all that expensive to run either. A lot of the stuff, the balloon wasn't expensive, and a lot of the electronic stuff is off the shelf stuff. So it's not really all that expensive for them to run. They haven't really thought out of a business model for it yet so they're not entirely sure whether they're going to charge people for it or whether they're just going to let people use it for free uh, i assume they probably will charge people for it because obviously infrastructure for 3g and everything costs money whether whether the balloons and the actual technology inside the balloon is 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 cheap as anything it still costs money to keep the this 3g network infrastructure up and running so i'm assuming they will charge for it but uh you know it's a good thing it, it means people without uh access to, to decent internet are going to be able to get access to this internet i mean it's uh it's they're gonna start putting aerials on uh planes as well i think uh this uh these balloons have been launched um the morning of the 15th of june uh in christchurch in new zealand 
Um, and they expect the balloons to sort of like move from the west coast to the east coast, obviously depending on weather patterns and, and that. But this is a good thing. I mean, more internet to more places is always good. It means we're taking a step in the right direction for people to actually get these high-speed internet connections that people deserve. I mean, come on, we're in 2013 and there are a lot of people out there that can't get over a meg of internet. Sniper and Raccoon being, being a prime example, his internet is absolutely terrible. And I live sort of like 15 minutes away from him and I get 100 meg down and 10 meg up and he struggles with one or two meg down and not even half a meg up. So it could push people into an area where they can say look we need to get internet sorted we need to get all this all this sorted so people can get decent internet i mean i know in the uk that i think they are pushing that everybody will at least be able to get five meg within the next four years uh but as i say five meg for most people five meg is okay but for for people like us for people that like to download a lot of things for people that download games for people that upload videos to youtube five five meg uh, I don't know. I don't know what kind of upload speed that they're talking about, obviously, because YouTube is more about your upload than your download, but p gamers like to download their games, and 5 meg, it's still going to take you a, a while to download a, a decent-sized game on a 5 meg connection. Um, the balloons actually themselves are powered by solar panels and can cover an area of about 460 square miles now that's that's a massive area when you think about it for for one of these balloons to cover 460 square miles and um it uses kind of a different um service from wi-fi obviously it's going to use the mobile data uh, so it's not going to interfere with uh, Wi-Fi in any way. So it's going to be kind of like uh, BT's uh, cloud service that they do. It's You can go around and you can just connect to anything you want. Um, that's about it. That's all I want to talk to you about today. The uh, gameplay in the background is almost over. In fact, it is over. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoy my tech, tech news and, and stuff, then please... Please leave a comment in below and leave me a like. I will put a link in the description below for that uh, Game of Drones video so you guys can all go and go and check that out. And if you're view if you're watching this video for the first time, if you're watching my tech talks and that for the first time, please feel free if you did enjoy it to subscribe. I would be very much appreciative of that. And I will see you guys next time.